Well, this got started through an incredibly difficult tragedy. A very dear friend of mine, Annabelle Interian, who was also a member of Christ Fellowship, her and her husband were, were in a bicycling accident and she was killed. And I lived in Stewart at the time, and her and I were very close friends. And I, I came down for the funeral, and Pastor Rick and Jorge Molina were standing off to the side, and, and I took my seat and saw them, at, and they waved me over, and and I hugged them, and we, you know, we said hello. And Rick asked me where I where I was living now because he knew that I had been all over, and um, and I told him that we were in Stewart, but we were moving to Key West, and um, he was shocked. He said, wow, that's amazing. And that was it. We hugged and we, and I went back and sat down and, and a few minutes later, him and Jorge saw them whispering over there. They waved me back over. Rick said, you know, what do you think about a Key West um, church? Would you be interested in, in doing that? And, and so that, that's how it started. So we connected with Cindy and Daryl Mashad and um, a lot of people that were really hungry and wanting a church that was was doctrinally sound and um and so we met then and it kind of grew from there we went we met at another restaurant and then we ended up meeting um at daryl and cindy's house really amazing how god really knit us together like we all it felt like a family from the beginning like we we kind of it felt like a like mind a like heart and and that's how the body of christ is supposed to be but when you're in that kind of intimate setting to have everybody really really love on one another in a way that we didn't know, I didn't know any of these people. And everybody welcomed me in and, and very, it was very loving and, and um, it, it just seemed, we seemed to connect on a way that only God could do in, in, in a situation like that. God is really doing something amazing here in Key West. There isn't a lot of biblically based churches. Um, and I do see that a lot of people in this community here in Key West really want a church that is speaking the truth and only the truth and with, without, a, without any apology. And that is what I think Christ Fellowship is doing here. And it's, it's creating an atmosphere starting in a very small place and leading to more house churches here in Key West because the need is great here. God doesn't need us to do anything, but we get He allows us to be a part of what He's doing. And you really do feel like that with Christ Fellowship. And I and I hope that people down here, here in Key West, that they're able to experience that as well.